Hi everyone, this is Ron from R Enduro, and today I would like to give you a little bit of background about our new products. We just launched our company several weeks ago in the Silver King Hard Enduro, and we had great success meeting some of our other racers and some of our new customers. We also get a lot of questions online about how the new products operate, specifically the Easy Clutch system. So today we would like to give you more insights about how the system mounts to the bike and how does it actually operate inside. So let's dive into it. So the most important thing to know about our new Easy Clutch system is that our lever does not actually make the pull easier. Our lever is designed based on the stock geometry, meaning we have the same leverage point, distances and curvatures. Our goal was to maintain the engagement point as similar as we all used to have on our stock bikes, just make the pull of the clutch easier. We accomplished that by adding a spring and a linkage system. We'll dive into that in the next step. Okay, so how the Easy Clutch actually works. All of the stock handles actually rotate around the center axis. Our lever actually rotates with the center axis. So we have a shaft here that is connected to the handle. Once you rotate the handle, the shaft transfers the rotation into the housing. Inside the housing, we have the spring and the linkage system. And we'll show exactly how it works. Okay, so let's talk about how the Easy Clutch system is mounted over the master cylinder and the handlebar. We have the two screws of the master cylinder. We replace those with longer ones. They go all the way down and mount to the uh, housing. And we, we have over here the brace. Uh, this brace actually have two purposes. One of them is to be a spacer between the master cylinder and the handlebar. So uh, if you get an impact crash, you get some impact from coming from that direction, it could actually provide uh, support here in the middle and help uh, prevent any kind of breakage uh, to the mounts. The other uh, purpose of this uh, brace is to connect here to the housing and that provides additional support. Over here, we have the handle and we have the set screw. That set screw is locked over the pin that we talked before. The pin go all the way down and mounts to the linkage system. So over here, we could see the linkage system and the spring tensioner. The spring tensioner is actually connected uh, to a, a tensioning screw. So the rider could adjust the amount of assistance that they would get from the system. The more the spring is tensioned, the more you get assistance from the easy clutch system. Now, we could see here that once the rider start to pull over the lever, the linkage system moves, and then we could see the spring start to make to provide assistance. This mechanism actually really similar to our kickstand. So once you cross a certain point, the spring provides assistance, and that's how you get an easier pull. Once the rider lifts the lever, uh, it goes to the relaxed position, the system completely disengages because now the spring is basically in a neutral position. And that's how a new easy clutch system works. So I would like to explain a little bit about the engagement point and why the easy clutch system does not change the engagement point. So like we explained before, the engagement point is being dictated by a couple of geometries of the handle and the interface to the master cylinder. One important point, of course, is the distance between the center axis and the point that actually presses the master cylinder. This distance is very critical, along with the length of the lever. As we mentioned before, we, did, we based this handle over the stock geometry. So we're basically keeping the engagement point the same. What we were able to achieve is to separate between the engagement point and the force profile. We were able to reduce the force profile and get a lighter pull, but maintain the same engagement point by maintaining the same geometry of the handle. So let me share a little bit more information about our handle. As we can see, uh, except the fact that it's folding, uh, it's very, very similar to the stock handle. We can see the geometry, the point that the rider puts the finger, that's super important to get the same smooth feeling as the stock one. And the most important, what's actually um, contributes to the engagement point is this distance between the center axis and the point that presses the master cylinder. And we were able to keep that almost identical, so the engagement point would stay identical to the stock lever. I wanted to show you how easy it is to disengage the easy clutch system. We try to design it as robust as possible, but we understand that sometimes during riding uh, things could happen, so we wanted to make a feature that will help the rider to disengage the system in a matter of seconds. So let me show you how. So let me show you how easy it is to disengage the system. As we showed before, once the rider pulled the lever, we could see that it's rotating with the shaft. 
So the shaft actually goes down and connects to the linkage system and we have here a flat surface. This flat surface indicates a flat surface that this bolt is locked against. Once we take that bolt out and we could either loosen it or take it out, I would recommend to take it out if you're out in the trail that it won't fall. Uh, once it's, it's disengaged from that flat surface, we could see that once the rider pulled the lever, it does not rotate the shaft anymore. So now the linkage mechanism is completely disengaged and the lever works just like a stock handle. So uh, there is no assistance coming from the mechanism.